chess, sports. Women of history, <laughs> disobedient ones, film festival and a new song. Couches and couches. We are BAA, Bell Art Attractions, your weekly guide to some of the stuff going on in Belgrade. Uh, we are your hosts, Boina and... Nella. Right, sorry. Let's get to it. So there. <laughs> okay, we don't really know what we're doing, but guys, you know what's up. All you Queen Gambit fans, we just found out that we are halfway through the Belgrade Chess Spring Festival that had already begun on the 2nd of April and will finish on the 30th of April. So stay tuned so you can hear about uh, more of the events coming up. So the festival started with an international open tournament which was on from the 2nd to the 9th of April. There were two Grandmasters tournaments, which were from the 16th to the 22nd of April, and there are still more events to come, such as the Open Junior Champ Championship, Rapid Rated Tournament, three-day qualifying rated blitz tournaments, you know, the really fast ones, weekend rated tournaments, team blitz rated tournament, 55 years chess informant blitz tournament, it's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> Simultaneous exhibitions and two international masters tournaments, which started yesterday, the 24th, and will last till the 30th of April. These are 10 player round robin tournaments, very popular because they are specially designed to provide the opportunity to see the norms becoming grand masters. So interesting. I mean, yeah. I'm. I've seen Queen's Gambit, so that all made sense to me. I haven't. I've just seen my dad play chess for years. <laughs> <laughs> the Belgrade Spring Festival is a follow-up to uh, the very successful first chess events, the Belgrade Summer Festival, which was organized by the Champions Chess Academy in 2018. The second edition in 2019 was a seal of approval to the preceding edition, bringing in over 200 players from 19 countries. Uh, the third edition, which was scheduled for summer of 2020 and we all know what happened then um, was in full preparation with a great number of players already signed up but unfortunately due to the measures that had to be implemented by the government or governments all around the world um, the organizers like many others were obliged to cancel the event however as soon as the situation and regulations eased the creators of the champions chess academy launched the belgrade spring festival 2021 the three accomplished grandmasters behind the, the festival, Ivan Ivanishevich, Branko Tadic and Milos Perunovic, fulfill admirably the role of organizers. They have created the Champions Chess Academy with the aim of providing chess training, organizing tournaments and generally bringing back the old chess glory to Belgrade. Over 300 players, 36 of them titled from 20 federations, are taking part in the Spring Festival's 10 events throughout April. I mean, it's quite exciting that we still get so many players coming in um, from, from so many places. And the organizers took utmost care to implement a strict compliance with all epidemiological Da, 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 da. <laughs> epidemiological measures, I have trouble with big words, for indoor sports events, an elegant 600 square meters ceremonial hall serves as a playing venue that provided ample space for maintaining the prescribed distance in accordance with the pandemic rules. So not only is it a massive event, but it's also super safe for these players. And since this chess festival is going so well, they're starting preparations for the Belgrade Summer Chess Festival. So more excitement on the way and precise details will appear soon on their website, which you can check out below. Chess is making a comeback, guys. I don't know about you, Nella, but I know that I miss the movies. Do you guys miss the movies? Well, if you do, then check out this art event that we've got for you. So, the 67th and 68th Martovsky Festival, which is a film festival, is happening and it is a two-in-one special where you can catch the films that were meant to be shown last year, as well as new ones that have been curated for this year. And it includes two award ceremonies, so really exciting. The festival is taking place at Dom Omladine Beograda on Makedonska 22, 
and it started already on the 19th of April uh, but you can still catch some of the films since the festival ends on Sunday the 25th of April at 9 p.m. so go check them out. Uh, and if you want to learn to dance or are into music production, yes, that, that's for you, that's for you, then the Too Hot for Stage Fest 2021 workshops are the place for you. Workshops? And you. <laughs> <laughs> they are offering workshops, listen to this, on Sunday the 25th of April. You can do the Jester or Turkey Dance, which... <laughs> Sounds fun. <laughs> Workshop titled Break the Movement. Uh, it's an experimental from 1.30 to 3 p.m. at the cost of 10 euros. Um, Papi Jazz music production titled <laughs> The Process of Creating a Song from Beginning to End is on from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. and this costs 800 dinars. And or if you want to do all three, Candy MC Workshop titled Writing Rap Songs is on from 5 to 7 p.m. So you actually have a full day of stuff if you choose to do all three. And mm. this last one is also priced at 800 dinars. I like that it's an all-encompassing thing. Like it's exactly. dance and it's songwriting and it's rapping. I've always secretly wanted to, to learn how to rap. Okay, break it down for us. No, <laughs> I have to go. I have to go to the workshop first and then then we'll see what I come out with. <laughs> well, <laughs> if you want to go to the workshop, spaces are limited, so you better hurry up and email them. Now I'm going to give you the email address. Um, Priyave2h4s at gmail.com. That's Priyave2h4s at gmail.com to register while you still can. I will take that on board. Thank mm -hmm. you, Nella. So what have we got? Oh, we've got a walking exhibition tour that's called Dame od Mnogi Hrabrosti Stvorene, which translates as Ladies Defined by Courage. So what it is, it's a walking exhibition tour where you can see the story of famous, smart, brave and courageous women from our history who took subtle, small female steps on untrodden paths and enabled us in the present time to be able to go to school, do the jobs we want, own property and live lives that are that they were then denied. Ah, so girl power. Yeah, yes. yeah, and girl it's really power. important for us to know the roots of that. Mm -hmm. So this walk is dedicated to remembering them, their work, courage, struggle, sacrifice and great successes that they achieved and thus changed on their own, but also our destinies. Uh, the tours are this Sunday, the 25th of April, and if you want more information and to book your place, since they can only take five people at a time, then call them at 063-7741-181. The price of the tour is 700 dinars, and it may be in Serbian, so bear that in mind. And now on to our home turf. You're probably watching us on YouTube and if you're not, let me just remind you that we're on YouTube. So get on YouTube and, and watch us. Um, and while you're on YouTube, go check out Anya Stojanovic. She just released her first solo music video called One Day, which is in English um, a couple of days ago. And here is the clip. Happiness is something that just comes and goes, but how cool was that? Amazing. Go, Anya! Uh, we have the link below as well if you want to check it out in your own time. And if you want us to share any other videos, be it music or film, let us know in the comments below and we'll make sure that it makes it onto this platform. Absolutely. So, Nella, what do you think about when, you, when you're decorating your home? What do you think is one of the most important spaces? Do you think it will be the kitchen or the living room or maybe? Well, I, I don't know about decorating because I'm not too great at that, but I know that when I have guests coming over, I make sure that the living room is clean because I know that that's where we'll be. So yeah, if you're one of those people that just kind of, yeah, you know, you just move all your stuff out of the living room, stuff in the bedroom, into all the storage spaces, hopefully nobody goes in the kitchen. And then at least if you've got your living room looking thick and span and comfortable, you kind of feel good about your, your exactly, home, don't you? Exactly, exactly. So yeah, the central space is perhaps the living room. Definitely. Ready for the guests, ready for you. So on that note, we've got a really, really great local small business that we'd like to support and you should definitely check them out. And they're called Sofa Kucha Steel. So 
Sofa House of Style is a business that puts comfort and style into your living room. They have 30 years of furniture making experience, so quite a lot. And everything is made of quality wood in a range of colors and different, different types of couches uh, from the L-shaped corner sofas to your standard models. So if you're looking for a couch, check out their Facebook page and I've seen them. They've got some really, really gorgeous, uh, really gorgeous contemporary colors, lots of exciting colors and styles. You can check out the link below or you can email them at sofa.kuchastil, which is spelled K-U-C-A stil at gmail.com or you can give them a ring at 062-966-0401. So yes, let's support this local business and get our living rooms looking beautiful. Beautiful. Do you ever wonder what disobedient women do online on Friday night? You would never believe. Oh, you know? I do. Oh, well, I'm going to tell you. They go on YouTube and you can join them too. So this Friday night, the 24th of April, going into Saturday at 2.30 a.m. because all disobedient women are up after midnight and everything good happens after two. Um, well, they're being disobedient. So join them. This is a live event and it sounds so intriguing. It's free and it will last an hour or so. So if you are up or if you want to check it out, this is like super intriguing for me. Um, do, do, do we know what goes on? We don't because it's it's all about the so disobedience. We haven't been that disobedient. I was just showing no. everyone. I'm, I'm kind of disobedient in a way that I've not been disobedient by sleeping when I should have been disobedient. But I promise to be disobedient for this event. Yeah, let's let's get me. let's let's go all be disobedient together. So remember, this is like Saturday morning for us, but probably Friday night for you, disobedient ladies. 24th to the 25th at 2:30 a.m on YouTube. The link is below. Go. The Be new, disobedient. It's the new witches gathering, isn't it? In the newest AA rivalries, the Belgrade Panthers softball team faced off against both Bozeman Gallatin and Bozeman High School in their home openers. Neither game was close as the Panthers showed Montana who owns the Gallatin Valley in their first season at the AA level by 10 running both Bozeman schools in five innings. Panthers won by 23 to 3, a victory over Bozeman in their first game of the day. The second match was also ruled by the Panthers, who won with a 22 over 0. The Belgrade Bandits opened up their Class A baseball schedule at home against the Lewistown Redbirds in two games. In game one, the Bandits jumped out to a 3 0 lead, but found themselves down 6 to 5 in the bottom of the fifth inning. But in the end, the Bandits won with a score of 10 to 8 against the Redbirds. But it was a tough game. The second game against the Redbird was also won by the Bandits with another score of 10 to 8. So that's a wrap for this week and we hope that the, the bulletins went a little too sportsy. I mean, our writer said she had a bit of a time trying to wring out her brain not about what's right. <laughs> and truth be told, we didn't really have a clue of what we were talking about, but we hope you sports enthusiasts did. So it's yes. important for us to bring you the news that you want to hear. I mean, we like sports, we like playing them. But yeah, we weren't pretty. Why Anna likes to play sports. Yeah, you can tell, can't you? <laughs> I like you to I like to encourage you <laughs> to subscribe, slap that bell, like and comment, and let us know what what you think. Can we just also welcome Nella back? Thank you so much. We missed you. I know you'll be and tired of you. me just being me, myself and I. And now it's just the two of us. We can make it anyway. Right. <laughs> if you have any comments, we'd love to hear from you. Also, you can email us. Did you just tell you the email? Bellartsattractions at gmail.com. I've said it now. Yes. Bellartsattractions at gmail.com. Yeah, email us if you want to if you want to collaborate or if you've got a little insider knowledge on the best events coming up or something that we could say in the news. 
And yeah, we really appreciate you watching us. You can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. Uh, we're BAA Bell Arts Attractions on Facebook and Instagram. Just a by the way. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm Nella. This is Boyana. It has been us. It has been you. Bye! Bye. Wonder no more.